Okay guys, so part three, finally at sea for crab. So I'm gonna start by giving you a little information about the crab and then we'll go on to the variations. So crab is wonderful. It's wonderful for your wrists, your shoulders, just total body strengthening and endurance when we add some of those cardio moves. So for crab, there are three shoulder positions I wanna teach you real quick. And I wanna show you how you want to make yourself a capital M with your body, with the hips just grazing about one to two inches above the floor. So our form is going to look like this. Um, feet are down in front of your knees, booty on the ground, and the three different positions for your shoulders are going to be ranging from easiest, fingers forward, opening that chest, sitting nice and tall, looking at the horizon in front of you. And then a little harder, slightly extra rotated, fingers to the side. Even harder, but the most open position at the shoulders, most externally rotated, is fingers back. That will really help to open a tight chest, really help to open a tight front of your shoulder. Um, we tend to get really cramped up in here when we're hunchbacks, when we're driving, texting, working from home, on your computer all day. So this might be a little extreme. Only come to this if you feel like you can support it. You can always revert back to here or here. Okay, so when we pop it up, I'll show you the side version. When we pop it up to a low crab bridge, you just bring your hips a few inches above the floor. See how I have a letter M with my body, a capital M? So we're just gonna hold this for a bit and practice weight, um, I'm sorry, not weight shifts. We're going to practice releasing one limb at a time from the floor. So I'm gonna lift my left foot, lift my right foot, lift my left hand a bit, and my right hand. So this is going to be the precursor to crawling or any movement from crab. Now I want you to try lifting your left foot, right hand. Put it down, right foot, left hand. So as we do this, the right foot, right leg, and the left shoulder are stabilizing my crab. And now the left foot and the right shoulder are stabilizing my crab. Remember that Miss America sash from left to right and right to left? That's going to induce that contralateral movement of the body opposite limb movement. Okay, come back down. So the other notes I have for you guys are pretend you're squeezing something between your shoulder blades. When you are up in the crab, pretend you are squeezing something right here, right between those blades, and you're opening that chest. So break a pencil between your shoulder blades. That will help you to get that retraction that we want to open our chest. Um, one other thing is, Nope, we're gonna go through my list. Okay, so low crab bridge. I already introduced that to you guys. Any variation with the hands, you're just gonna hold this for 10 to 30 seconds. What do I have next? Foot slash toe grabs and tricep presses. Okay, so hold this a little bit longer, deep breaths. When we're doing the next move, of course you have to be able to do these first, the weight. Shifts left and right, releasing without toppling your crab over. So the next movement is going to be a foot or a toe grab, or you can touch your knee. So the easiest version will be opposite limbs, come off, touch the knee. Touch the knee, we're adding some instability, an element of instability to the low crab by stabilizing with the contralateral limbs to make it a little harder. Grab the toe straight in that way. Grab your toe, toe grabs. You can even do a three on one side to challenge yourself. Anything goes, as long as you are stable using that core, not changing the shape of your M. So we're not gonna let our hips come up or drop here. We're not doing this, none of that. So now we're going to add tricep presses and optional leg kicks with the tricep press. So, tricep presses, you're going to have your fingers forward for these. You need them forward for the presses. Come up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, come into low crab. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten. So your M is not changing shape aside from the elbows. You can move your hips up a little, elbows coming down and up. 
Letting those elbows go back, not to the sides. They're tracking behind you. But you're keeping that neutral spine. The spine is staying still. You're just moving the elbows. So this will burn. It's all endurance. You can set a timer. You can say, I'm going to do 10 or 20 reps based on your fitness level. Modify as needed. And then come down. If you want to make that a little bit spicier without changing the integrity of the dish, of course, so not changing the shape of our crab, we're going to add some spice. Okay, so you're going to start with your pulses, your tricep presses, and if you want to make it harder, kick. Bring it in, kick. In and kick. So in with the dip with the triceps and then press everything out. Maybe three or four or five each leg. Come in and then switch legs. In, press it out. Pretend you're pressing a door open, pressing it away from you. Another thing, you can just do little pulses. So end range, we're not going all the way down and up. We're just doing maybe 10 seconds of baby pulses. You won't feel the burn on the back of your arms. If you haven't already, give yourself a little stretch, bringing one arm up and down the mid back, switching. Whew. Next, we have a high crab bridge, AKA tabletop. And then I'm gonna show you how to go from low to tabletop. And then we're gonna do traveling crabs and crab reaches and tabletop 90 degree marching. So make sure you're releasing your wrists, coming into that flexion to equalize all that extension that we've been in. Low crab to high crab. So I'm gonna go back to this hand position, come up to my low crab, then high crab is bring your hips all the way up. Make sure your knees are above your ankles. M, tabletop. M, squeeze the glutes. M, use those hamstrings. So this is a lot harder. It'll be a lot more of a stretch on your chest and your front of the shoulder if it's tight. You can hold this. Don't let your chin fall. Tuck it like you're holding a little peach that you don't want to drop and squish onto the ground. So hold your chin, look towards your belly button to protect the back of the neck. If you want to make it harder, add some 90 degree tabletop marches. Toe ball heel to land, up, toe ball heel. Don't let your hips fall. You can do kicks here, kicks. Other side, kick, kick, kick. One other thing from low crab, you can do alternating kicks. You can go faster. Try to keep your hips stable. Don't let them um, go left and right or up and down. Keep them where they are at as you kick. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Flex those wrists. Crab reaches. And there are a few more things. So we have crab reaches and tripod with dumbbells or without weight. Almost done. So crab reaches are an amazing animal flow move. Your fingers are going to be back. Come up into that low crab. Come, let's see, bring your right hand elbow by your side, blade of the hand like this, and then press up. Bring that right arm, just let it hang over your bun, over your head. Look back towards that left armpit. So you're getting a little rotation in the torso, keeping your hips up to the ceiling. We'll do two more times on this side. Inhale down, exhale lift. So it's tabletop. We call this a crab reach. Other side, inhale down, exhale reach, inhale down, exhale reach. We can change sides every time if you would like. Okay, next is kind of some more to that. I'm going to show you without weight and then with some three pound dumbbells. You can do three, five pounds maybe. This is called a tripod, very similar to what we just did but without the rotational element. So, I'm going to have my hands out to the side this time. From here, hold a weight or don't hold a weight. Come up, tripod. One, two, three points of contact. Reaching to the sky, look up. Come down to low crab. Press it up. Down. Press it up. We're going to add weights if you would like to add weights. You're going to have your wrists neutral, that means facing each other, palms are facing each other. Put them back behind you. Come into that low crab. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open up your chest. 
And same thing, we're going to come up, reaching that weight up, maybe down, we'll come straight back up, we'll do three on each side before switching. Other side. You can hang out a bit at the top if you would like. Breathe deeply. Stacking your shoulders. So this one, you don't have to add weight. This is the final challenge, is adding the weight. Oh my goodness. So stretch out your shoulders, your triceps, and roll those wrists. Give them a good stretch, pulling the fingertips down and down. Maybe rocking forward and back a little bit to release those wrist extensors. We did a lot of work in extension. So obviously you're not going to be doing everything I just did at once if you're new to this practice of animal flow or weight bearing with your body in general. But I just want you to know how advantageous your body is to working out. That does not make sense. But you can really use your body weight to your advantage. You do not need weights. You don't, do not need kettlebells or slam balls or a fancy gym membership. You can do so much with this amazing body of yours and a little consistency and motivation and drive to learn new material. But don't push yourself to do too much at once. I am going to post more of the benefits to animal flow in the description box below. So please give that a read and take a rest. If you went through all of your ABCs, you have well deserved a good rest for today. So thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you liked the content and share the animal ABCs with your friends. Thank you.